Corner Runway head coach, Dominique Sanders. And assistant coaches, Don Jones, Don Springer, Devon Sanders, and Dave Smith. Now, the introduction of the starting lineups. For Highland, number three, Tommy Williams. For Moronia, five for the 11 inch sophomore, number four, John Henderson. For Highland, number four, Jacob. For Moronia, five for the 11 inch junior, number 11, Anthony Lee. For Highland, number 11, Bryce Prophet. For Arnonia, six foot sophomore, number 15, Cooper Ruff. For Highland, number 23, Preston Grinder. For Arnonia, six foot three and senior, number 20, for Highland, number 25, Alex Jaworski. And for Ornonia, six foot five inch senior, number 23, Robert Watson. Welcome everyone to Nordonia High School tonight. Tuesday night basketball for you. A pre-Christmas matchup here between the Nordonia Knights and the Highland Hornets. The Nordonia Knights have a strong starting five, a younger starting five. Only two seniors are starters in this starting five lineup for the Knights. Let's get that starting five lineup in there for you. We have Anthony Lee. John Henderson, we saw a lot of him last year. Josh Malone in his final year with the Knights. Cooper Russ, also in that starting lineup for the Knights. And the other senior, along with Josh Malone, is Robert Watson. We saw a lot of him last year as well. As the Highland Hornets score the first bucket of the game, courtesy of Preston Grinder for Highland. Here is a Knights turnover committed by Cooper Russ. Anthony's attended for Anthony Lee. Knights commit their first turnover of the game. Big problem last year for the Nordonia Knights was that turnover ratio that they uh, committed per game. Lots of turnovers last year. Now with the new coach, Dominique Sanders, in his first year at the helm of the Knights, really looking for more ball movement, more assists, and uh, obviously less turnovers as Robert Watson hauls in the rebound. Here comes Anthony Lee pushing the pace. Lee's a fast player, can shoot the ball well as well. Passes it out to Henderson. Henderson has Tommy Williams guarding him, a senior for the Hornets as Robert Watson gets his first bucket of the night to give the Knights a tie 2-2 with 6.30 to play here in the first quarter. Here come the Hornets with a layup, and the bucket is good by Preston Grinder again. Senior at 6'5", 175 pounds is Grinder. Here's Lee again. He's controlling a lot of this offense, the junior. He has Bryce Prophet guarding him. Here's Malone. Malone gets it out in the corner to Russ. Russ uses a Watson screen. Watts goes all the way to the basket, passes it back out to Lee. Henderson, Malone. Malone has Alex Jaworski guarding him as Robert Watson backs in again and misses. Rebound by Tommy Williams. Williams pushes the pace, gets it out to Preston Grinder again. Preston Grinder has been involved heavily in this offense. Gets the ball back again, goes all the way to the basket and lays it up and in for another bucket. It is a 6-2 Hornet lead with 5-20 here in the first quarter. Lee brings the ball up again for the Knights. And Dominic Sanders willing to bring in subs very early in the game. The only Jones brother left of that Jones trio that we saw a lot of last year. 
Julius and Jordan Jones were seniors last year, obviously graduated Nordonia, so Joel Jones is the only Jones player left in that Jones trio, the junior, getting ready to check in. We'll see who he's coming in for. Meanwhile, it is a 6-4 Hornet lead as Highland looks to extend their two-point advantage. Here is Preston Grinder again. Anthony Lee comes up with a steal, and Anthony Lee lays it up and in to tie the game up at six. Lee with his first bucket as a member of the Nordonia Knights varsity team. Has a lot of promise coming into this season. For the Knights, Logan Jankowski also looking to check in with Joel Jones as well as a foul is called on the Knights. We'll see who it's on. It's on Anthony Lee, his first. You know, analyzing this game these first few minutes, it seems like new coach Dominique Sanders really has a lot of energy with this new team, has a lot of ideas, you know, starting with a young, uh, a young starting lineup. You know, it just seems like he's talking with a lot of players on the sideline here, just enforcing that positivity, something the Knights kind of struggled to find last year. So is this a step in the right direction? Meanwhile, the Hornets get a two-point advantage out of their free throws. An 8-6 lead here for the visiting Highland Hornets here with 4.15 to go in the first quarter. Here's Malone. Jones and Jankowski have both checked into the game. Here's Henderson with Jacob Osborne guarding him. Lee gets it out to Jankowski. Jankowski thought about using that Jones screen, decided not to. Here's Lee, top of the key. Lee, top of the key, has Tommy Williams on him. Here's Jankowski to Jones. Jones is in the corner, trapped a little bit. Some good defense by the Hornets. It is a Malone open corner three that is down. And the Knights have their first lead of the game. Knights with a 9-8 advantage here in the season. Here's Grinder again. Excuse me, Alex Jaworski, excuse me. Alex Jaworski is senior for Highland, 6'3 at 170 pounds. And Nordonia get an offensive possession. Jones to inbound to Anthony Lee. Lee brings up the ball. He's had a lot of touches tonight. Here's Henderson, that two-guard tandem of Lee and Henderson is talented, but can it be effective? Here's Jones, Jones gives it out to Lee, who is double teamed. Lee now has to dish it off to Jones in the corner. Jones thought about the three. The ball has to move here as John Henderson looked and took it himself. Here's Malone, thought about the three, just hit one a moment ago. Henderson will try a three and it will be off the mark. Rebound in the hands of Bryce Prophet, who tries an inside pass that's broken up by Jones, and Anthony Lee comes out on the fast break. Lee dishes it out to Jones once more. Josh Malone takes it, drives Jones, packed out to Jankowski. Jankowski gets it back, and will it count? We will see. It looks like the bucket will count. It is a three point play, and the fouls on Tommy Williams. Williams will pick up his first Williams will pick up his first team foul, excuse me. And the Nordonia Knights will be able to extend their lead to four after trailing by two. So a six-nothing quick run here by the Nordonia Knights. We will take a timeout with 231 here. The Knights with a 12-5 lead here at home at Nordonia High School. We'll be back to wrap up this second quarter for you at Nordonia High School right now. Welcome back everyone where the Knights have a comfortable four point lead, 12 to eight over the visiting Highland Hornets with two minutes and 36 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. We're gonna give you some NBA score updates when the second quarter begins. We'll get those for you shortly as a three point play is in the chance now for 
Alex Jaworski. Jankowski picks up the foul. And Jaworski will now have the chance to complete that three-point play is off the mark. Here comes Jones pushing the pace. Joel Jones pushes it out. Here is John Henderson. Henderson has Tommy Williams guarding him. Williams is on Henderson, as I said, and Henderson may be doing a little bit too much ball handling. He's going to come out now for Owen Licht. You know, I had a chance to play on the soccer team with this guy for Nordonia this past season. He is a guy full of energy, full of commitment, hard work, a great guy to have on your team. Not only is he a great player, but overall just a great person, and that's something you need, especially for a varsity basketball team as that personality and that fire. Here's Jones all the way to the basket. And that night lead is back to four. Owen Lick, the senior, is repla has replaced John Henderson. The three-pointer is good once again for Alex Jaworski. Alex Jaworski, five points now in the game. He's been featured a lot in Highland's offense, and we're going to have an offensive, or no, not an offensive foul, a traveling violation committed by the Knights. Another turnover for them. Luke Tycodia Jr. also checking in for Nordonia. He'll be guarding Rob Hutner of Highland as the Hornets bring up the ball with Jacob Osborne controlling that point. Here is Jaworski again. A drive all the way to the basket is off by Osborne. Here's Tycodi. Tycodi runs and has the ball stolen. Jaworski with an excellent defensive play. He'll bring it up. Here is the pass to Osborne. His shot was rejected, but the putback is also off, and Jaworski ends up cleaning it up. Jaworski has seven quick points. Almost half of Highland's output, seven of their 15 points, and Highland have a one-point lead, 15-14, 40 seconds to go here. Highland with a one-point advantage against the home Knights. Anthony Lee will try a three and nail it. As we were talking about earlier, Anthony Lee showing that range. Now will have the task of guarding Osborne. Osborne top of the key to guarding Lee. Osborne looking what to do with it. And did we have a five second violation in the paint? So it's not exactly the NBA with three seconds, but five seconds is pretty close enough, I guess. Robert Watson's coming back in for the Nordonia Knights. Clay McMillan had actually got some quick couple of minutes, and Robert Watson will replace him. Here's Anthony Lee once again handling the point. Dominic Sanders really is trusting him with that position. Such an important one as well. Tycody mishandled the pass. Back out to Lick. Here's Lee. Jones fakes out the pass, now shoots and scores as the shot clock expires. He was able to get rid of Carson Lewandowski and score the bucket right as time expired. And that will conclude our first quarter of action. Knights with a four-point lead over the visiting Highland Hornets, 19-15, with the second quarter to begin in just a moment. Right around the corner, we'll be back to you with Knights basketball from Nordonia. Welcome back, everyone, here to Nordonia High School on a chilly night here in Macedonia, but it is warm inside the Nordonia High School where their hometown Knights have a 19-15 lead to begin the second quarter. 19-15 lead for the Knights. I did say I would get you some NBA scores in the meantime at the beginning of this quarter. Charlotte Hornets, who the Cavs will see tomorrow night at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, have a 26-21 lead at the end of the first quarter against the Sacramento Kings at the Spectrum Center. The Lakers and Pacers are battling it out in Indianapolis right now. LeBron and the Lakers, a 28-24 lead on the Pacers, who were without Victor Oladipo, but remain 18-9, playing well. 
The Atlanta Hawks will be facing off against the New York Knicks from the Garden tonight in New York. Brooklyn and the Nets will be in the Big Easy tonight, New Orleans to take on the Pacers, or the, excuse me, the Pelicans who hope to get Zion Williamson soon. The Orlando Magic will, are in Utah to take on the Jazz, and the Phoenix Suns are in the City of Angels, Los Angeles at the Staples Center, to face off against Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, and the Clippers, concluding our busy night of action here in the NBA. The Cavs, as I mentioned, play tomorrow against the Charlotte Hornets. The Cavs losing their most recent game to the Raptors last night at Scotiabank Arena in Toronto. Look to bounce back at home with a three-game homestand against Charlotte starting tomorrow. Meanwhile, the score remains 19-15. Now 19-16, thanks to a free throw by Rob Hutner. Here comes Luke Tycote bringing the ball up for the Knights, giving Anthony Lee a little break. Here's Ryan Reese, who just checked in and missed past it, but Ryan Reese comes up with a deflection and it will remain Hornet ball. Dominique Sanders getting his subs in rather quickly here as John Henderson right back in this game. Owen Lick remains out there. Joel Jones, Robert Watson, and Cooper Russ are that five out there for the Knights. I think it's a traveling violation. Or no, a foul, excuse me. Preston Grinder commits a foul. His first personal foul, and the Knights will get the ball back on their side of the court with a 19-16 advantage. Anthony Lee now back in the game. Seems like he's been in this game forever. He's gonna be tired in that fourth quarter, which is really one of the most important quarters, and the Knights commit a turnover. Here is Bryce Profit on the drive. Gives it up to Joukowsky. He'll fire up a shot that's off the mark. Comes in for his own rebound. An offensive foul on Preston Grinder. Preston Grinder, the senior, 175 pounds at 6'5. Picks up the foul. Top scorers for Highland, Alex Jaworski, he has seven. Uh, for the Knights, not really any top scoring but there is some scoring from Cooper Russ as the Knights extend their lead to five with 6.15 remaining here in the second quarter. It is Knights 21, Hornets 16. Here is Joukowsky again, or is Jaworski, excuse me. Here's Osborne. Osborne looks, the three-pointer is up and it is off the mark by Highland. Here comes John Henderson with the rebound, gives it to Lee. Lee thought about the three. Here comes Henderson. Henderson finds Luke Jackson wide open in the corner. Robert Watson takes it himself and misses the layup. Jackson tries to fight for it. And Henderson comes up with the steal, comes up with a quick shot that's off the mark. Offensive foul committed by Jaworski. Knights get the ball back once again. Jaworski picks up his first personal foul. And the Knights, last year we talked about committing turnovers so much. Now, forcing some turnovers here, helping them have a chance to extend their six point lead. Here's Jackson. Jackson is high, top of the key. Finds Henderson, Henderson fakes the three. Jackson now drives. Dominique Sanders screaming patience here, just trying to have them find a way to pass the ball and stop dribbling so much. In the process of trying to get the ball back from his turnover, Luke Jackson commits his first personal foul. Joan Jones is back in for the Knights as well. Here come the Hornets with Jacob Osborne controlling the point. He's double teamed by Jackson and Lee. 
finds a pass in the corner. Jaworski finds the pass to Osborne, or excuse me, not. shot's blocked, Profit's shot is blocked, Jaworski has it in the corner, Jaworski looking, fires a cross-court pass for a Osborne, who thought about the three and it was off on the floater, and here come the Knights. Here's Henderson, Henderson almost slid off. Lee back to Henderson, Henderson's doing a lot of dribbling. Joe Jones trying to get involved in the offense here. Here's Watson. Watson goes to work. Little floater is short. And rebound goes to Rob Hutner. Jaworski, crossover. Thought about the drive. Instead, a nice dish. Bryce Profit rejected at the rim by some intense night defense. But a timeout is called by the Nordonia Knights. 3.58 to go here in the second quarter. It's a full timeout. 3.51 remaining here in the second quarter. The Knights have a 21-16 lead against the Highland Hornets. We will be back to finish up this second quarter from Nordonia High School right around the corner. Welcome back, everyone, to Nordonia High School. Hey, little trivia question for here for you here. As you know, I am also the host of the Cleveland Sports Show. You can catch new episodes every week on my Twitter account. D a r a y u s s e t h n a is how you spell my name. Quick trivia question for you here: What is the origin of the Los Angeles Dodgers team nickname? Yes, the Los Angeles Dodgers of the MLB. The origins of their team nickname. Well, I'll give you the answer. While the franchise was lo located in Brooklyn, it was called the Atlantic's Grays, uh, Bridge, Br Bridge Grooms, the Super Bass, Trolley Dodgers, and the Robins, all within a span from 1884 to 1931. None of them uh, were officially recognized, but the nickname Dodgers began to appear in the local newspapers in 1895 because Brooklyn fans who were attending the games had to frequently dodge speeding trolleys on the city streets. The name Robbins was inspired by manager Wilbert Robinson, who was hired in 1914, but Robinson was fired after the conclusion of the 1931 season, his 17th year at the helm. And on January 23, 1932, the Brooklyn chapter of the Baseball Writers Associ uh, Association of America met and selected Dodgers as the team nickname and club management complied, giving them the name of the Brooklyn Dodgers. As we know, Jackie Robinson would eventually play for and make such great monumental strides in sports history. Back here at Nordonia High School, the Knights have extended their lead all the way up to seven now, their largest lead of the game. Here comes Jaworski, bamming out an Osborne three that is short, and the Knights give up the rebound, but it eventually gets back in their possession with control for Joel Jones. Jones in the corner for Russ. Malone at the top of the key finds Henderson. Henderson back to Jones. He's now at the top of the key controlling the offense. Malone to Lee. Lee got away with a little shove there. Here's Cooper Russ in the open for three. Wide open in the corner. Instead it is Jaworski coming up with the rebound. The Knights were trying to extend that lead to 10. As Dominique Sanders wants the Knights to slow down the offense a little bit here. Execute something properly to close out the half. Knights commits an offensive foul committed by Malone. It's his first personal foul. John Henderson coming out of the game real quick. Owen Licht back in for the Knights. Owen Licht will have the assignment of guarding Jacob Osborne, who has the ball right now. Osborne inside to Preston Grinder. Three-pointers off. Here's Malone. Malone pushing the pace. Cooper Rust to Jones. Jones finds Licht, Licht a corner three. 
That's off the mark. But Cooper Russ gets the ball back, and Anthony Lee traveled. Turnover. Move the ball. I tell you, Dominique Sanders is down here really urging his night squad to move the ball. Sort of a problem they had last year. As we mentioned, Evan Weehy not part of this night squad anymore after due to the, him graduating. Really was a sharpshooter with the Knights for a while in his career at Nordonia. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jaborski again with a bucket. He now has six points. Or excuse me, no, he has nine points to go one foul as well. John Henderson back in, checking in for Cooper Russ. Nice possession here is Clay McMillan. Owen Lick drives, Owen Lick floats it up and floats it in. Owen Lick gets his first points of the night. Here's Osborne, Osborne drives all the way. Looks back out. Here's Bryce Prophet. Nice inside pass for Osborne, and Osborne able to finish with that tight angle. And the lead is cut to five. 25-20 Nordonia, 44 seconds to go here in the first half. Jones is looking for a pass here at the top of the key. Back to Henderson. Jones backed out to Lick. Lick drives. Stops and finds Henderson once again. Henderson and Lee really controlling that point. Henderson has Carson Lewandowski guarding him. Henderson with Osborne on him. Lick another jumper. That's true. So Owen Lick now with back-to-back -back jumpers and the Knights have a seven-point lead. Jones with the steal. Eight seconds on the clock, but he forced a turnover. I think he was assuming someone was going to run out and try to find a way to score. 5.2 remaining, Knights 27, Highland 20 to close out the half. Final seconds here. Bryce Prophet tried to get off a last second shot, unable to go. Well, a positive first half of basketball from the Nordonia Knights have a seven point lead, and this matches their largest lead of the half, of the half going into that halftime break. We'll be back with Nordonia Knights basketball broadcast from Nordonia High School, second half to begin very shortly. Thank you so much for joining me on this lovely night here in Macedonia, as we will continue with Nordonia Knights broadcasts in the second half in a little bit. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, your varsity cheerleaders, Saida, Adiemi, Marissa Barber, Randy Buckles, Abby Kinnock, Chloe Chesney, Maddie Majusic, Emily Miller, Mia Petros, and Caleb Frischak, coached by Warren DeBash.
Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School on a chilly December night pre-Christmas matchup here between the Nordonia Knights and the Highland Hornets as the second half is back underway. Thank you for joining us on this recorded play-by-play -play of Nordonia Knights basketball. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, Cleveland Sports Show, we have another episode for you. Now, this Sunday is when we'll be recording it. Should be out then very shortly. Been, if you haven't been catching up with that, we do have new episodes on that for you on Spotify and on my Twitter account, at Nordonia Sports. All the episodes of the Cleveland Sports Show podcast for you there. Meanwhile, for the Knights, they have a nine-point advantage now, and that is now 11 with a lovely finger roll by Anthony Lee. Wasn't on the varsity roster last year, but is showing you why he deserves a starting role on this varsity position in his junior year. And a foul called on Cooper Russer, Russell, uh, Russ, excuse me. Holding Bryce Prophet. Jacob Osborne will inbound the ball for the Hornets. For the Hornets, it is the two top scorers, Jaworski and Grinder. 15 of the uh, 20 points um, scored for the Highland Hornets, scored 15 of the team's 20 points in that first half. And that is a bucket by Bryce Profit. Also for the Nordonia Knights in that first half, Anthony Lee, Owen Licht, and Joel Jones had almost half of the team's first half output, 13 of the 27 first half points by the Knights. No player also with more than two fouls, or two fouls at all to be more specific, as a better first half for Dominique Sanders in his first year at the helm of the Nordonia Knights. And we have a foul called. It is on Nordonia. And Bryce Prophet will be shooting free throws. A 31 to 22 advantage for the Nordonia Knights with 6.08 here in the third quarter. Profit goes one of two at the line. So it is a 31-24 lead for the Knights. 6.05 remaining here in the first, in this third, excuse me. Here's Anthony Lee once again controlling that point and lazy pass there. Here comes Profit. Profit holds it. This is Jaworski. Jaworski fires a three, faked it at first, and Anthony Lee has the rebound and is pushing it up the pace here. Here is Malone who has his shot rejected at the rim by Jaworski. And Dominique Wilkins imploring Anthony Lee just slow down the offense. Don't rush it so much. And Joel Jones is coming back in the game. He'll be replacing he'll be replacing Josh Malone. So for the Knights out there, it's Lee, Robert Watson, Jones, Malone, and Cooper Russ. The jumper rolls in and out from Tommy Williams. And here's Lee slowing down that offense as Coach Sanders is imploring him to do. Lee finds Watson. Watson has Williams guarding him. Jones, a mid-range jumper. That's off the mark. And here's Jaworski. Jaworski's done a little bit of everything tonight. He's rebounded, he's scored, he's assisted on some passes, and so has Grinder. Two tallest players on the court for Highland. Nice D from Lee. Here's Anthony all the way to the basket. Kicks it out to Henderson. Henderson's floaters off the mark. Jones tried to get the rebound. And he swatted it out. Owen Lick. Owen Lick. Checking in for Nordonia. He's checking in for John Henderson. Josh Malone comes right back in for Robert Watson as well. 
Watson with four points, two fouls in the game so far. Here's Williams. Williams with Malone pestering him. Williams dishes it off to Grinder. Air ball is shot by Bryce Prophet. Here's Lee. Lee has Prophet hounding him. Lee slowing it down again. Josh Malone wide open three, nails it. And the Knights. Knights finally extend that lead to 10, their largest lead of the game. A timeout called by Highland. 4.06 remaining here in the third quarter. Knights with their Knights with their largest lead of the ball game. 34-24, 4.06 to go here in the third. We'll have you back with Nord more Nordonia Knights basketball action after this short break. Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School. The Knights, their largest lead of the ball game this evening. 34-24 advantage for Nordonia over the Highland Hornets. 4.06 remaining here in the third quarter. Tommy Williams, the senior at 5'9", will inbound the ball with Owen Licht guarding him. Williams is struggling to get it in. Eventually finds, he's trying to look for Jaworski. The Knights were asking for a backcourt violation on that one. Here is Jacob Osborne to the bucket, misses. Here is Lee. Lee slowing down that offense once again. Finds Licht, Licht to Malone. Joel Jones drives inside, gives it to Licht for an open jump shot that's off the mark. Malone comes in for the rebound. He's whacked on the putback. And after analyzing this Nordonia team this past year, and obviously this year again, I can definitely see a big change in the coaching styles between Matt Cash and Dominique Sanders. It seems like Sanders a lot more uh, conversative with his players just pulling them on the sideline. Didn't see a lot of that uh, from Ash Cash. And maybe, of course, different coaching styles. Maybe it's also because of the fact that I'm sitting at a different viewpoint watching and broadcasting this game for you. But just as an analyst here, it's a big, big influence the coach can have on his team. Obviously, Dominic Sanders trying to give the best information and updates for his team. You know where you can also get the best information and updates are the Cleveland Sports Show. We have weekly podcasts, and I am on center court every Friday morning with Ray Horner live at about 6.45 a.m. You can also find those find those episodes on my Twitter account, at Nordonia Sports, if you're not willing to get up at 6.45 in the morning, which I do not blame you if you're not. Meanwhile, the Knights are just increasing this lead. It is now 12, largest lead of the game, with 3.15 to go here in the third quarter as Will Hoynes for the Hornets hasn't had a huge contribution. Hoynes is a sophomore, 6'4", at 205 pounds. And Hoynes will be shooting two free throws at the line. Anthony Lee picks up his second foul. Highland making some big substitutions here. Carson Lewandowski, Griffin Albright, and Bryce Prophet are also checking into the game for Highland. And Will Hoynes comes up short on both of his free throws, and Anthony Lee once again controlling the offense. Lee finds Litt. Flick to Jones. Jones will drive all the way and he has it stripped. Here come the Hornets. 
speaking of Hornets, Cavs facing the Charlotte Hornets tomorrow at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse at 7 p.m. game time. Hornets playing tonight against the Sacramento Kings. We'll have some NBA scores and updates for you at the beginning of the fourth quarter. But in this third quarter, 2.38 remaining here at Nordonia High School. Here comes Owen Lick now, who's controlling the offense for Nordonia. Brings the ball up against Griffin Albright. Lick finds Watson, who was gutting inside and was fouled. Luke Tycote, Josh Malone, Robert Watson, Joel Jones, and Owen Licht in the game for Nordonia. Robert Watson will be at the line shooting two. Josh Malone has been playing well for Nordonia. Ten points, only one foul for him. Getting it done for Coach Sanders out there tonight as Watson misses his first of two. And Watson can't hit again. Now, free throw shooting hasn't been great in this game. The last four free throws, two uh, free throws for each team respectively. 0 for four, both teams in their last four, in their last two free throws, 0 for two for each team, 0 for four total. The drive, the kick out, the three is good for Griffin Albright. Griffin Albright, another sophomore. 5'10", 160 pounds. Albright, one of only two sophomores on this varsity roster, along with Will Hoynes, who missed those two free throws earlier for the Hornets. Tycote fakes a three, drives, finds Jones in the corner for three. Air ball. Cody came up with it, fed it to Watson with a fantastic hustle play, and the Knights extend their lead to 11. Here come the Hornets again with Carson Lewandowski controlling the offense. Lewandowski thought about the three. Hands it off to Bryce Prophet. The drive now by Hoynes is no good. And it's deflected off. Watson or Jones, and the Hornets will have the ball back. Cooper Russ is back in for the Knights, and John Henderson is also returning for them. Inbound for Highland. It's struggling to find a player. Here's Osborne in the corner. Henderson guarding him. Or not Osborne, excuse me, Lewandowski. Here comes Jankowski. Jankowski on the head, and it is blocked. Fantastic block by Bryce Prophet. And here comes Jaworski. Jaworski drives a floater, is off the mark. Grinder tried to come in and get it. Here's Henderson. Henderson finds Cooper Russ. Cooper Russ also thought about a three. The three is up and good by John Luke Tycote. So Tycote drills his first three of the game, and Lewandowski brings it back up for the Knights. Their largest lead, or the Hornets, excuse me. Hornets in their largest deficit of the evening. 14 points, and Grinder can't cut it with a three. Five seconds to go here in the third. Henderson, look for a last second shot. Ty Cody for a three. Oh, it's off the mark. But it has definitely been a positive night here for the Nordonia Knights against the Highland Heights, or Highland Hornets, excuse me. A 41 to 27 score in favor of Nordonia at the end of three quarters. We will be back to wrap up the fourth quarter from Nordonia High School in a few minutes here. This is Nordonia Knights basketball broadcast with Darius Sethna. We'll have some NBA updates for you too, all in this fourth quarter. Don't want to miss it. Coming up next. Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School. 
as the Knights hometown have a 14 point lead 41 27 with the final eight minutes of this game to go can the Hornets have a dramatic comeback or can the Knights hold on and win we'll see as Osborne is pressured and he was fouled by Henderson who is really looking to go in for that pass Henderson will pick up his third. So Knights have been picking up a few more fouls. Remember, in that first half, no one on the Knights had even more than one foul. As we have another foul, and Jankowski will pick up another foul. Osborne throws it in to Jaworski. Jaworski finds Osborne. Jacob Osborne with Anthony Lee guarding him. Here is Rob Hutner. Hutner gives it out to Jaworski. Jaworski with a nice pass to Osborne for the layup and the lay in as he has cut the Nordonia Knights lead. 41 to 29. Here comes Lee. Lee's had a nice game. Anthony Lee still has the ball. Finds Henderson. Henderson to Russ. Russ has his pass deflected, and here comes Jaworski. Jaworski drives up, finds Hutner, who misses the layup. And Bryce Prophet. Misses the putback. Joel Jones, Robert Rotson, and Josh Malone looking to check in for the Knights. Is it just me or does no one want to hit their free throws tonight? As I mentioned, in that third quarter, four straight free throw misses, two respectively for each team. And now Profit. Misses his first free throw. Can he end these free throw shooting woes for the Hornets? He can, as he drains the second. Here's Lee. The lead is down to 11. Knights looking for a bucket here. Anthony Lee controlling the offense, finds Watson, looking to go to work against Jaworski. Takes a jumper and has it roll in. Nice shot from Watson and he extends the lead back to 13. And a late whistle called. It's called on Joel Jones. He fouled Rob Hutner. Rob Hutner will now be going to the free throw line. Hutner hits his first free throw. Hey, let's get you up with some NBA score updates. The third quarter has kicked off in Charlotte. The Hornets, who will be facing the Cavs tomorrow night at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, have a 53-49 lead on the Sacramento Kings. The Los Angeles Lakers and the Pacers are in a very, very tight matchup in Indianapolis. 52 tied, 52-52 um, heading into the third quarter. And the New York Knicks have had a hot start here uh, excuse me, had a hot start at Madison Square Garden in New York as they have a 51-34 lead against the Atlanta Hawks. Brooklyn and New Orleans just kicked it off from Smoothie King Center, tied at 10 in midway through the first quarter. The Orlando Magic are in Salt Lake City to take on the Jazz tonight at 9 p.m. The Magic at 12 and 14, the Jazz 15 and 11, and our final game of the night will be from Staples Center in Los Angeles as the Phoenix Suns, who are at 11 and 15, will be facing off against Kawhi, Leonard, Paul George, and the LA Clippers tonight at 10.30, rounding out our NBA schedule for tonight. As we're in a timeout here, Cavs, as I mentioned, with a three-game homestand, they'll be facing off against the Charlotte Hornets tomorrow. Friday, they'll be taking on Ja Morant and getting their first look at the Memphis Grizzlies. And on Monday, the Atlanta Hawks will be in town for a matchup at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. 
We're back here at Nordonia. 6.24 left to go in this fourth quarter. 43-31 lead for the Knights. Josh Malone has had a nice game for Nordonia. 10 points for him. 7 points for Anthony Lee, who has the ball now. Has a dangerous pass, but a successful one to Watson. Nice tic-tac-toe. And John Henderson, the beneficiary. Here's Osborne. Osborne drives all the way, kicks it out. Jaworski, he'll try a three. Short. Grinder tried to get the offensive rebound, does, and can't put it back. Profit tried to come up with it. John Henderson is on the other end of the court. Looks like he got hit in the hit in the mouth. Looks like yeah, there's a bloody nose. So Josh Henderson does have a bloody nose and will be escorted out of this game. Strong game tonight from Malone, to say the least, though. And a well-deserved ovation. Hopefully, he's okay. As we will resume play here, the Knights will be in possession. John Henderson to inbound. Knights with a 45-31 lead, 5.53 to go here in the fourth quarter at Nordonia High School. Joel Jones finds Henderson. Henderson on the left side now has Lee back up top. Lee has Osborne guarding him. Lee tries a couple of crossover moves. Finds Henderson. Henderson, oh, nice spin move, crossover, and pass back up top to Lee. Here's Watson. Watson finds Ty Cody, who hit a three earlier, doesn't try the three now. Back to Henderson. Henderson has profit guarding him. Henderson trying a lot of crossover moves and lost it. And we'll have a jump ball called. And the possession favors Nordonia, so it'll be a new Nordonia possession with 5.15 to go here in the fourth quarter. Knights trying to hold on and get the victory here in this pre-Christmas battle between the Knights and the Highland Hornets. Lee was double teamed. Henson, or Henderson gets a cross court pass. The alley-oop for Watson. Watson can't quite hold on to it. And here come the Hornets with Tommy Williams in control. Williams has Henderson guarding him. Finds Profit. Henderson switches on him once more. Profit drives to the basket, kicks it out for Jaworski on the three. So, Alex Jaworski getting it going now. 14 points on the game. Now he comes up with a steal and the crossover all the way to the bucket. The floater is up and in. And this lead is cut to single digits. The Hornets are not heading home just yet. They still have a basketball game to come back in. And the Knights are looking to control, get back in control of this game, I should say, as the Knights now have their lead down to single digits. 45-36 with the fourth quarter ending coming up for you. This is Nordonia Knights basketball broadcast on NordoniaHills.News with Darius Sefna. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome back to Nordonia High School. 4.31 remaining here in the fourth quarter. The Knights with a 45-36 lead. Knights have had balanced scoring throughout. Robert Watson's with six, Anthony Lee with seven. Four points for Jordan. As we're back here, Anthony Lee with the ball. Joel Jones gets it back to Lee. Ty Cody in the corner. Tries to go for the jumper that's off the mark. And here is Jaworski. Jaworski finds Profit, who's gotten some nice minutes here in the fourth quarter. Lengthy amount of time for Profit. Here's Jaworski. Jaworski has Ty Cody guarding him. 
Tommy Williams drives and has his pass picked. And we're going to have a timeout called once again. This will be a timeout for Highland. But it's a 30 second timeout. 45 36 is the score here at Nordonia High School with the fourth quarter in its final stages. We'll be back to wrap up this game from Nordonia High School for you to go along with our post game report in just a few moments. Welcome back to Nordonia High School as the Hornets, who've had a little bit of a comeback here, trying to win this game on the road. Here's Jaworski, who's been the biggest contributor to that Hornet scoreboard. The kick out is off, and the three pointer is off by Profit, but the rebound and put back by Tommy Williams is good and he'll go for the three-point play the lead is cut to eight or excuse me seven 38 45 nice trying to hold on now Williams completes the three-point play and substitution at hand Owen Licht coming in for John Henderson. Owen Lick with four points in the game. Now he's gonna try to get Osborne off of him. He's double teamed, Owen Lick is. Here's Joe Jones. The Knights have to get the ball up the center court. And they do with a nice, fast, athletic drive by Joel Jones. The last of the Jones trio here at Nordonia with the two twins graduating last year. Jaworski with the floater. Alex Jaworski, a senior, 6'3", 170 pounds, skinny built, and Lick puts it up and in. As I was saying, Jaworski, 18 of the 41 points for Highland. Here's Osborne, Lee guarding him. Osborne goes behind the back, now drives, kicks it out to Tommy Williams. Williams has licked on him. Williams kicks it back out. Jaworski for a three. It is off. That's hit the backboard and out. So that basket will not count. Knights have the ball. Almost got stolen. Lee barely able to pick it out. Lee finds Jones. Joel Jones, Josh Malone open. Good to see him back in this game after suffering that nose injury in the third quarter. Here's Jones. Jones picks out Lee, finds Lick. Knights trying to get a bucket and they commit a turnover and this will be a Price, or excuse me, a Bryce Profit easy layup and the lead is six. Knights were up double digits and now the lead down to six with the fourth quarter almost uh, winding down essentially. We will see if we will have a brand new ball game. Can the Hornets pull up an upset or can the Knights hold on? We'll see in these next few moments. Knights broadcasts with Darius Sethna on NordoniaHills.News will continue after this short break. Welcome back to Nordonia. Two minutes to go here in this fourth quarter. Knights holding on to a 49 to 43 lead here at home against the Highland Hornets. 
as the Knights will be inbounding the ball here. Joel Jones running the baseline, finds Anthony Lee. Lee gives it to Jones. Jones finds Cooper Russ, who gets, gets it to John Henderson. Here's Jones back at the top of the key. For the Knights out there, it's Josh Malone, Joel Jones, Anthony Lee, Cooper Russ, and John Henderson to possibly close out this game. A minute 44 left in what has been an exciting game here at Nordonia High School. Jones inbounds it to Henderson. Henderson picks up his dribble and is trapped. Knights call a 30 second timeout. Henderson was trapped. He picked up his dribble a little too early and the game is now in its tight stages as the Knights are gonna try to close this one out after blowing a double digit lead here at home. 49-43 is the Knights lead. Final moments here at Nordonia High School are coming to you now from NordoniaHills.News. Basketball broadcasts with Darius Sefna. Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School. The Cleveland Sports Show will be uh, resuming next week with our 65th episode. Can't believe it's our 65th episode of the Cleveland Sports Show. And we will have that for you next week uploaded to Twitter, SoundCloud, uh, Spotify as well. The easiest way to access the Cleveland Sports Show is go ahead and just head on to Twitter or head on to Spotify and type in my name, D-A-R-A-Y-U-S-S-E-T-H-N-A to access all of your Cleveland Sports Show needs. I am also on live radio every Friday morning with Ray Horner and WAKR 1590 or 93.5 FM. About 6.45 live on Friday mornings or you can see all of those interviews on my Twitter account, Spotify, and SoundCloud as well. Meanwhile, we have a crazy game here at Nordonia High School as the Knights committed a turnover and an easy layup for Bryce Profit down the other end. The lead is down to four. A minute to go here in this game. The Knights clinging to a four point advantage. Knights have committed 10 fouls. Only half of that committed by Highland. Here's Joel Jones. Joel Jones mishandles it, finds Henderson. Nice, just maybe want to hold on to it. But Cooper Russ traveled. He traveled. There's no shot clock in high school basketball, and you have a minute left. The Most likely the best thing to do there is just hold the ball. Not a smart play there. And the Knights cough it up. Turnovers have been a problem in that second half. That turnover bug from last year has come back to haunt the Knights here in the second half after they managed to do without them in the first. Here's the drive by Osborne. It is a two-point game. Joel Jones has the, throws a full-court pass. Anthony Lee has to get it to Malone. Malone gets it to Henderson. Henderson fakes, floats it up, air ball. And... It's going to be Highland Ball, Jaworski, going on, what, the fifth level of the stands. An exclamation. Knights have to get one stop. Highland have to get a score, and they tie the game where they can take the lead with a three. Jaworski. Here's Profit. Profit. He will spin. He will drive. He will miss. Jones the rebound. Jones has it, and he's fouled with 9.9 .9 remaining. That was a great opportunity for Bryce Profit, and he was unable to cash in. And Jones can probably seal this. Or he won't be shooting free throws, he'll be inbounding the ball. Highland aren't in the penalty yet, but they most likely will be soon since they'll have to foul a Nordonia player. We'll see if Nordonia can inbound it. Jones looking, looking, looking. 
And he gets it to Watson, who barely hung on to it. And is a timeout will be called, it seems like, by Nordonia. Or no, excuse me, Robert Watson will be shooting free throws. Robert was fo fouled in those final seconds of that play. And if he can hit these free throws, the game is pretty much iced. We'll see what Robert can do here at the free throw line. Watson's first free throw is off. Profit to try to game, he turned it over. Three seconds left. Cooper Russ is gonna take in. Cooper Russ is gonna check in, but before that, we have a timeout with three seconds left here in the fourth quarter. A 49-47 lead that the Knights are desperate, desperately trying to cling on to. Highland can tie the game with a two or win the game with a three. We'll be back to wrap up this dramatic game from Nordonia High School after a moment. Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School. The final seconds of this game. Will Highland can take a tie with a two, take the lead of their own with a three and win the game. Knights trying to defend with a two point lead. The inbounds pass is Highland. Highland now only two seconds to shoot it. Knights holding on to a 49-47 lead. We'll see what Highland can do here. 2.1, Knights. What can Highland do? They tap it into Profit who ties the game with it and we're going to overtime. Bryce Profit who had a chance to tie the game earlier ties the game at the final possession. Knights can't get it done in regulation but they do have overtime after blowing a double digit lead the Knights will now look to take back control in overtime we'll have overtime for you in these next few moments Knights and Dominique Sanders are looking to escape this crazy comeback that has been led by Alex Jaworski of the Highland Hornets. And we have four minutes of overtime to decide who walks out of Nordonia High School a winner. I'm sorry I said five minutes. It's see, it was uh, changed to four minutes. Those are the OHSAA overtime rules, four minute period, to decide the winner of this game. 49 we are dead is what we are deadlocked at. John Henderson and the Knights win the tip. Here's Malone. Malone finds Jones and looks like Jones pushed off someone from the Hornets. It's hard to see in all the mist of the players. But Jones will pick up his second personal foul. Here comes Prophet who tied the game in the final seconds of regulation. Prophet finds Osborne. Anthony Lee's guarding him. Jarkowski finds Prophet who goes inside and scores. The Knights have seen a 12 point lead evaporate. 14 at one point actually. A 14 lead has been erased. And a two point deficit is now seen by the Nordonia Knights. The Knights have struggled at the line. Robert Watson recently going 0 for 2. Able to hit the first. So that ends his free throw woes. 
Robert Watson looking to tie the game now with this next free throw. As the Knights look to tie the game and try to get some momentum back, they do. Here's Osborne back to Profit. Profit, who just scored the game winner, now brings it up for Highland. Here's Osborne. Osborne's also been controlling the ball a lot. Finds Jarowski. Jaworski, excuse me. Osborne's in the corner, trapped. She thought about getting it to Grinder, and eventually does get it to Grinder. He'll drive, he will take, he will find, tried to look for Osborne, but he wanted a foul as well. Here's Watson, Watson uses his handles, and he was taken to the floor by Osborne. Good sportsmanship there by the two players. But it'll be an offensive foul or a travel on the Knights. Anyway, either way, it is a Knights turnover. And they'll look to get a stop here and try to regain some momentum. 2.48 remaining in overtime. Deadlocked at 51. Here are the Hornets trying to get a lead after trailing by as many as 14. Jaworski. Jaworski drives. And his layup is short. Here comes Jones. Jones drives. Nice fake stripped, but a foul. Oh, a travel. No. Another Knights turnover. Knights have had the turnover plague haunt them in this second half and throughout overtime. After a rather solid half of not turning the ball over. Here's Profit. Profit drives. Profit can't score. And Rob Hutner, who's in the game, couldn't get the putback. Malone puts it in. Malone breaks the deadlock. 53 51 is the Knights' lead with a minute 55 remaining here in overtime. Osborne has, Knight, has Lee hounding him. Jaworski. And Profit is fouled. He'll shoot two. Looking to tie the game at the line. So Joel Jones has had two quick fouls here in overtime. Three fouls for the game. As Profit can hit the first. Profit's second free throw is also off. You got time you need it. Get Profit, who tied the game, now is unable to tie it in overtime with the free throws. Jones has Jaworski guarding him. Jones finds Watson, and Watson they commit an offensive foul, the Knights do. It's committed by Watson. Hit someone on the head. His second personal foul for Watson. And he is replaced quickly by Cooper Russ. So for the Knights to close this with a minute 27 remaining, it's Henderson, Jones, Malone, Cooper Russ, and Anthony Lee. Here's Profit. The layup, the lay in is good by Jacob Osborne. Jones drives, scores. And a foul to go along with the two points. And one. Another quick substitution. Joel Jones will look to give the Knights a three-point advantage with this free throw does. One minute remaining, 56-53 is the score in favor of the Nordonia Knights. Looking to, after blowing a 14-point lead, looking to stay alive and just win this game. Knights can't get the offensive rebound. Trying to find, here's Jaworski. Jaworski comes up with it. 
in the heat of battle. Jaworski with Lee on him. Jaworski tries a couple crossovers. Jaworski finds Tommy Williams. Williams drives and misses, but he is fouled. And Jaworski can cut the lead to one, or Williams, excuse me, can cut the lead to one with 30.9 remaining here in overtime. Williams drains the first. The second free throw is off by Williams. Watson calls in the rebound. And the Knights have a two point lead here in overtime. We will be back with the final. We will be back with the final 28 seconds of this game in overtime. Knights holding on to a 56 to 54 lead against the Highland Hornets. Nordonia Knights boys basketball broadcast on NordoniaHills.News. With me, Dariah Sethna will continue after a brief moment. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll have a conclusion of the fourth quarter coming up. Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School as the Nordonia Knights are holding on to a 56 to 54 lead with 28 seconds to go here in overtime. Knights inbound the ball. Here is Joel Jones. And the Knights turn it over. Williams floater goes. Anthony Lee, Anthony Lee drives, Anthony Lee lays it in. Seven, sen seven seconds remaining. Anthony Lee with the possible game winner. with a terrific game tonight. Anthony Lee now with 12 points and the possible game winner after Highland tied it with almost only 10 seconds remaining. Looked like we were going into a second overtime. Anthony Lee with a drive and a game winning layup possibly as the Knights will not want to go to a second overtime. 58-56 lead for Nordonia, six seconds, looking to get a stop. Highland on the other side can tie the game with a two or win it with a three in the position they were in the fourth quarter. What can the Knights do defensively as it's been such a struggle for them, especially last year, trying to come up with a big time win against the Highland Hornets here at home. Back here at Nordonia High School, nice trying to get one last stop to close this game out. Let's see what the Knights will be able to pull off. The Hornets will inbound the ball full court. Bryce Prophet, the senior, to inbound. And a steal by Jones, and Lee will hold on to it. Lee is fouled. What a phenomenal steal by Joel Jones. The final Jones brother of the trio coming up with a huge defensive play. And the Knights now in control of this game. Anthony Lee at the free throw line. Lee's a good free throw shooter. Can extend the lead to four. He can extend the lead to four. If Lee hits this, this game's pretty much over. It'll be a two possession game. Lee for his first free throw. 
Missed the first, so it'll be a one possession game either way. The Knights are preparing for full court defense. Lee hits the first, hits the second, so the Hornets have to go for a three. Two and one, and the shot is off by Jaworski, and the game is over as the Nordonia Knights have defeated the Highland Hornets here in overtime at Nordonia High School. Big win by the Nordonia Knights, 59-56. Good game for Jaworski on Highland, finishing with 18 points. For the Knights, very balanced scoring. Anthony Lee getting into double digits. Game winning layup and game ceiling free throw. 12 points on the night for him. Eight along with Robert Watson. 12 points for Josh Malone. Six for, or excuse me, nine for Joel Jones, who also came up with the big defensive steal to seal the game. Don't miss our post-game coverage, our post-game analysis of this game between the Knights and the Hornets. We'll have it for you also here on NordoniaHills.News. So we're not done just yet, and we will have the post-game discussion right here on Nordonia Hills Boys Varsity Broadcasts with Darius Sefna. Hello everyone, welcome back to Nordonia High School where the Knights came um, out with a win in dramatic fashion after defeating the Highland Hornets by a final score of 59-56. to For the game, Josh Malone, the highest scorer, the senior for the Knights with 12 points, Robert Watson finishing off with 8 points, and Joel Jones came up with a big defensive steal to end the game at 9, finishing the game with 9 points. On the Hornets side, Jaworski finishing off the game with 18 points, and Bryce Profit, who tied the game in the final minutes of regulation, ends the game with 13 points. Uh, Hornets blowing some free throws at the end of the game, um, therefore losing it. Knights actually blew a 14-point lead. They were up as by as many as 14 in the second half, blew that lead only to come back in the overtime period of about four minutes. So the Knights get a 59 to 56 win here tonight at Nordonia High School. The Knights will be back in action this upcoming Friday at uh, against here at home against Stowe Monroe Falls. But for tonight's broadcast, thank you so much for joining me, Darius Sethna, here um, on NordoniaHills.News for Nordonia Knights Boys Varsity Broadcasts um, here at Nordonia High School. Thank you so much to Shane for all of your awesome work in the video producing, and we will see you for our next broadcast very soon. Thank you so much, everyone.